protests have increased in intensity and violence with socio-economic activities paralyzed across Nigeria, with some compatriots allegedly losing their lives in the ensuing melee. Further worried that the protests have now grown beyond the initial agitation to harsh answers and harsh end police brutality to include the demands for good governance, accountability of government, reforms of key governmental institutions like INEC, judiciary, health, power, amongst others, and accepts that as political leaders, we must take responsibility of protecting, providing succor, and guiding our youth. We therefore must address the issues of placing appropriate policies that ensure economic growth, wealth creation and employment generation and put them on the front burner. They give government the opportunity to address these demands. Mr. President, as I understand it, the first and most critical demand they wanted was end SARS. That is a demand, Mr. President, do I say on uncharistic, not, not, not really in his character as such to act with such immediacy, but because Mr. President also agreed with us that what was going on, the activities of those SARS was illegal and not tolerable, Mr. President acted swiftly and ordered that SARS, as a tactical unit of uh, the police force, be disbanded. Mr. President has done that. Mr. President, we didn't stop there. They came with a further demand, I think, five other requests, as is within their rights. Mr. President has also accepted and approved those requests. Mr. President, I want to appeal. These are our children. We don't want any harm to come to any of them. And we will not support any position that will create any harm to these children. The chairman of the Constitution Review Exercise, the Constitution Review Committee, most of the requests they have made, they are constitutional issues. They are constitutional issues. They are not issues that Mr. President can, by fiat, take a decision on. If they continue to mobilize with the strength that they have today, they have the capacity to come before us and make this powerful case before us and Mr. President, we are their representatives. And I think that part of what is going to resolve this issue with immediacy is for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to look at the issues, address the nation on them. And I think that people will listen, knowing that he has uh, now come out to directly, directly deal with the issue. Thirdly, Mr. President, I suggest also that in doing that, that he must try a way of setting up, uh, just like they're doing in the states now, a judicial panel that will have people that are well respected by the same youth, so that they can address a certain issue. And that issue, Mr. President, is those SARS officers, the notorious ones that have been identified and even identified by the presidential panel, because the presidential panel has identified 35 officers that they say are most notorious in all these killings and all these things. I want to also suggest very strongly that uh, dialogue should be used to get the youth to suspend the end SARS protest. Uh, where dialogue fails, then we should use whatever means is possible to end it. Otherwise, uh, it will lead to anarchy. Already, uh, a number of uh, properties have been burnt. A number of 
people have been killed and no responsible government will allow lawlessness to take place when it is in power. And for that reason, government should use whatever means possible to ensure that it ends the SARS movement. Uh, of course, it is normal in liberal democracy like ours for protests to take place. But uh, where it is being hijacked by hoodlums and, and leasing violence on innocent citizens, government should leave up its constitutional responsibility by ensuring that law and order is being maintained. Protesters, you, are, you have made your point, you have made your case, your protests have yielded the desired results. It is time to allow the government to implement those issues that government has accepted from you. So with this, we want to uh, urge Nigerians to go on their lawful businesses without let and hindrance. There are a lot of rooms, a lot of avenues through which uh, such uh, reforms could be made. And of course, the, our Committee on Constitution Review is there, and thank God they have just started their work. Protests like this, sometimes they are wake-up calls, but I think they wake us up not to only look at the issues raised or the demands made, but even to contemplate on issues that have not been raised, but they are fundamental and they are so important and imperative in our lives as a country and as citizens.